to get the job done. And that's really um, just controlling what you can what control. You that's really door, that's like, it's my job. So. And for you, on an average pick, what go, can you, you control? Sit, um, um, just control. You can control your mindset. Um, you can control what you do to prepare for the kick. And really, on game day, everything's going to take care of itself. So. When you are coming off a season where you only miss three kicks and you're darn near perfect from 50 and out, what's that off season like in terms of improvement? And okay, but I want to go here. Yeah, I mean, there's always room for improvement even after you know a really good season. Um, one thing, you know, I'm trying to compete with those NFL guys. You know, I go watch their film every single day. You know, Harrison Butker, you got the Justin Tuckers, you got all those guys. Um, you know, that's the next level, and so that's where I need to be at, and that's what I'm trying to compete with. So. How do you approach so, the, the mental aspect I know, of this? Like, I mean, we've well, seen the last couple of weeks the Simone know, Biles story, and, and when you're in a high-pressure situation without, like that, how do you approach the mental you know, game uh, and, and keep that part of so your game healthy? Those two things, those um, things, you know, really, it's just confidence really is where it's at. I'm, I'm a really confident guy, and so, I mean, just really, you just got to clear your mind when you're going out to kick a game. You know, your only thought process is, you know, you're going to make the kick. That's all there is to it. And, you know, everything's going to take care of itself. So. Is, is the Groza Award important to you? Is that something that you're looking at? Um, no, I mean, that's that's just the extra stuff. You know, that's not really important to me. Really just helping my team win on Saturdays, that's what's important to me. So. And for you, as, as you work on improving, I mean, what does that look like? I mean, how do you work on your, you know, expanding your range yeah. and, and improve your consistency and all that? What's what's the work that goes into that? Yeah, so right now, you know, really I'm just working on, you know, explosive hips, you know, getting – the weight room is really important for me, you know, cleaning, you know, squatting, doing all that. Getting more explosive is one thing that I've really worked on this off season, and so hopefully, you know, kickoffs, it'll come and show this next fall. Um, Obviously, we have Sean Ketting, so it's really good to watch him kick off. And Grant, really good for him. It's really good, like, just having that experience around me really is good for me. So, uh, you know, uh, but, yeah, weight room, getting more explosive and really just refining my technique. So. Dave, have you ever heard a kicker reference the weight room before? Every <laughs> what's, what's the weight room? For, for I mean, most kickers do not think about the weight room. Um, I mean, really, it's just, it's not, we're not so heavy, we're not really lifting heavy weight, but, you know, we're doing specific things for our craft to make us better, so. Is it working on leg strength? I mean, what Yeah, leg strength, you got hip explosiveness, you got hamstrings, that's really important for us, um, you know, and flexibility, that's one thing that's really important for us, so. And what are your goals for this year? Um, obviously just... Really, the main goal is just to help my team win on Saturday, um, have a good, you know, solid season. So that's really all, all I'm focused on. So. Um, last one for me. Do you like the nickname? It's good, it's, it's good stuff. I don't know. It's funny. But, yeah, I mean, uh, that was something for, you know, to bring, you know, for in the locker room. That was something that slowly expanded. And, you know, I, I kind of like it. So why not? feel like it suits you? Yeah, a little bit.